In this example, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this trigonometric equation. We have 2 sine of x over 3, and then we're going to add to that the square root of 3 and get 0. And the value of x that we're going to be solving for needs to be in this interval 0 to 2 pi, and this also tells us it needs to be in radians. So if you'd like to pause the video and give this problem a try first, do so, and then come on back and we'll work it together. Okay, looking specifically at this example, we just have sine in one place here. So let's start by subtracting the square root of 3 from both sides. So I'll have twice the sine of that x over 3 business equals negative square root of 3. Okay, and to finish getting the sine by itself, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So I will have the sine of, well, x over 3 equals negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so first of all, I need to know where sine is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. So we can kind of break that up into two pieces. The negative part, and we look at the quadrants for that, and then square root of 3 over 2. So let's look at the reference angle first. So sine of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. Okay, well where is this the case? What's the reference angle? Where is sine the square root of 3 over 2? And that's going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so how about our quadrants now? Where is sine going to be negative? Well, sine is positive in the first and second, so that means it's negative in the third and fourth. So remember when we measure these, we always go from the x-axis, so our reference angle is 60 degrees. So we're going to be going down into the third quadrant and down into the fourth quadrant from the x-axis, 60 degrees. So over here at the negative x-axis, I have 180 degrees. So we'll add 60 to that to get 240 degrees. And then over here on the positive x-axis, you could say 0 minus 60, well that's going to be negative, or 360 minus 60, and that'll be 300 degrees. Okay, so we have two values here. So we know that x over 3 is going to be 240 degrees and 300 degrees. And again, I went ahead and found where sine was negative, so we took care of that part already. So now we just need to do this angle business. So x over 3 equals 240 degrees and 300 degrees. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 3 to isolate that x. When we do so, though, it looks like x is going to be 720 degrees and 900 degrees. Well, interesting. That is well out of the scope of our interval here, 0 to 2 pi. So we're saying there actually aren't any values in this interval that will satisfy this equation. So the solution here, well, there is no solution. So we're just going to write no solution and box that up. And that's actually our answer in this case. So we went through, we solved the equation. We found that all the possibilities, these two right here, were well outside of our interval here. And so we see no solution in this example.